Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, doing some more updates on the Marshall. Uh, this is gonna be day one of probably a two to three day build. Uh, nothing too spectacular, but uh, or I guess too hard, but definitely some updates and changes. So let's go over what I'm planning on doing. First off, I've already started some of this. Right now, I am working on building a skid plate for under the Marshall. It's gonna have two bolts up front and in the back, I'm going to use the actual bottom hole on each side of the hitch plate. So stock holes there, two new holes here. I'm getting ready to weld this cross brace and that pretty much will make this pretty solid. And as you can see, I've got plenty of room to protect this pulley. And I do plan on skinning from about right here, about an inch up. So I don't wanna get into the steering and maybe all the way back. Protect the transaxle and this pulley. And I guess the steering too. So uh, we'll get to it. I need to take this back off, weld this br cross brace in. Like I said, it's pretty solid and it's only finger tight on there. And then I'm going to use, I was going to use it for another project, but I've got a hot water tank out back that I was thinking about using to skin this. I'm probably gonna make like a little curvature or, or cut out for the belts, but I wanna keep it simple where all I gotta do is take out either just these two front bolts or all, those and the back bolts, as you can see right there, and drop this whole thing down and you can service the belt. Maybe I can just drop the front and service the belt. It should have plenty of room. Anyway, that's where I'm going and that's where I'm at right now. And then later today or tomorrow, I'm going to try to make some tree kickers that come out and go around. Probably use this bolt here coming out. I'm gonna have it removable. Don't know why, but it will. Come out about right here and then come up, meet right around here somewhere and go back to the frame probably use one of these three holes here uh may have to make one on the other side because the other side don't have these three holes but uh anyway it does have this one but that one may be too far back let's get to it all right a slight change of plan here i cut out a section out of the back of a washing machine that's broken i'm gonna see about tacking that down Bend it up that lip, but uh, just need two inches up that, and it's good there. Have a little trim off the back, no biggie there. So uh, I'll get the welder and I'll come back to you. Okay, guys, I am not a welder, and I tried to tack weld these, but I just kept blowing holes. I tried different times. I was just about to get it, but my old. Uh, Let's see, 40 plus another 24. So 64 year old welder sometimes doesn't quite work right. So anyway, I know that's, you can see it's too hot. But anyway, I decided I was going to put bolts through it. Make it a little more serviceable. So there's a skid plate there. It's uh, from the back of a washing machine as I think I mentioned. But uh, I'm going to clean this all back up, I'll paint it, and install it. All right. The frame is painted, as well as the skid plate. Help. Well, there it is. Got a skid plate to protect that pulley and the transaxle. And most of the belt system. And should water get up in here, it'll just roll out the back. 
I didn't uh, keep make it a closed tunnel because I don't want to hold up water. But there you go. And I got plenty of room to access in here for belt maintenance. There you go. Pretty sturdy. While I'm at it, I don't think I've showed you guys this either. It's my rear bumper. With a two inch receiver on the bottom. It's bolted straight up to the hitch plate. Wondering if it's sturdy enough. Well, there's guts. It's on both sides. I could pick up the tractor with it, but this tractor's pretty darn heavy, so I'm not even going to try. All right, before we move to the tree kickers that I've uh, started bending, I've got two exact, one there and one hanging off the end of the table there. They're completely identical, even the same bends, everything. I have decided I need to widen the back end. So I got some hubs, same ones I bought a zillion times, but yet they don't fit on these hubs here because of this lip right here. All the other tractors I got, it actually fits over this lip. So I don't know if it's a smaller inner diameter of these hubs I've gotten in the past or what. But anyway, I'm done. I've got these little lock, lock nuts that I uh, are the right size for those stud for my studs, but they're coarse thread instead of fine thread. So what I'm doing is I'm drilling them out and using them as spacers. And the cone side is working great and in setting into the, there's a slight taper on each one of the you can see the taper there. It fits perfectly in that taper and locks in really well. So instead of getting a two inch uh, spacer, I'm ending up with a, like a two and a quarter inch. So anyway, the other side's done. Kicked out the tire just a little bit. You can see it installed. I went ahead and put those little black caps that came with them this time on there because they kind of look cool. I'll run them till they fall off, and if I want to run more, I've got some red ones <laughs> up on the shelf somewhere. Oh, there they are, right there. I have red ones. I got a gazillion of them. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'll get those on, and then I'll start the tree kickers. And there you go. I've got all five of these on on this side. I've got Loctite on the studs as I do with all my spacers, because all it takes is one hub coming off or one spacer coming off to ruin your day. There's the uh, tree kickers now installed. Something I might consider is while my big old size 13s don't fit in there, uh, someone else's could. Or if I pointed my toe down, it could fit through there. So I'm gonna figure out something to fill in this uh, gap a little bit. I guess I got them out a little too far. Or I could put a, a bend right here in the middle. I'll have to think about that. But there they are. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. But uh, I think I can do a little better on those. But there you have it. I might could put some maybe mesh in there, tie it up, I don't know. Something I'm thinking about. We'll see. Okay guys, couldn't leave well enough alone. I found me some uh, dash tower supports for an 85 Murray garden tractor. I flattened them out and ran them inside. Now there's only like three, two and a half, three inches on either, either side. So now there's no uh, 
foot can get down in there. Don't need to be breaking off any feet or ankles. But there you have it. Now we're done with the Marshall. From here on, hopefully we'll start thrashing this thing and give it the send it test. So hopefully the next video is me riding this around other than up and down the street, which I have done. I do have the 90 inch belt now. So, and that feels great on braking and clutching. So we'll see what happens. Till next time.